y'all. Welcome on back to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, if you're new, this is Live and Laugh with Linda. I'm Linda, and on this channel, I love life. I love to laugh, and we do a little bit of everything. This is my porch praying series, and it's just a special little time I like to share if I can. So here I am. It's a Sunday afternoon. I usually say good morning, y'all. I'm porch praying this morning, but uh, since the weather turned a little bit, I'm porch praying this afternoon, uh, and we, we are having a beautiful, beautiful North Florida fall day. I hope y'all are having beautiful weather, because it is absolutely gorgeous here, and we're so, nobody, it's always been said, nobody appreciates fall, like uh, deep, the deep south anyway, but then again, nobody appreciates spring, I bet you, like the north, so it, it all evens out, doesn't it? It sure does. Well, it is fall here, and look here, y'all. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I have on a flannel shirt. But being honest, I really call this Florida flannel because it's not like real. I mean, it's really light cotton, but listen, it's 77 degrees today, so <laughs> I'll probably be shedding this in a little bit. But it drops down real quick as soon as it gets dark. But I'm out here today thinking on a lot of the comments and and even prayer requests I've gotten from, from some of y'all. And it's just blessed my heart to hear from y'all. Thank you so much for your comments. Such an encouragement to me. Um, but a lot of the comments I'm getting are really um, showing and speaking of really hard times that people are going through. And y'all, that's life, isn't it? Isn't that the truth? I mean, I don't know anyone who has skated through life or is skating through life just like this and nothing ever comes their way to shake them up a little bit. But that's what life is. It's a series of things like that. And the way we learn to navigate them in my faith is to learn how to trust in God. People say that all the time. Well, you gotta put your trust in the Lord. You gotta trust God. Well, today I want to I want to pray on that. How do I do that? How do I put my trust in the Lord and get through it? Because the reality is a lot of us live with fear and anxiety and whatever and we're shook up from time to time, which is okay sometimes. But anyway, let's get on to what I'm praying on today. And today I am in Psalm 46. I'm out here in my happy place to pray. I've got my Bible. I got my, I don't have coffee at two o'clock in the afternoon at this age in my life, but I do have some delicious herbal tea. And apparently I slurp tea just like I do coffee. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm in Psalm 46. And I love to take the scripture and pray it over situations prayed over my, I always pray for my home and my children and my children's children, my family, and then I extend it to others. So I encourage you to do the same. So here we are, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present and help in the time of trouble. So that's my faith statement to you, Lord. I come today to you, Lord, and I thank you for all that you are and all that you've done for me. You have been faithful, faithful, faithful in my life all my years, and I couldn't be thankful, and I couldn't praise you enough. So I give you all the praise and glory, Lord. Right away, I say that. And I speak this verse one out as my faith statement, because y'all, listen, faith is not about what you feel. It's not about what the circumstances are doing around you. It's not even about a blow that hits you. It's not about emotions. It's about what you believe and stand on, no matter what's going on. So, Lord, I speak that out for my family. I speak that out over myself, over my husband, the Walker household, all the bloodline that extends from this house, my children and my grandchildren and my children's 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 children for all time. Let us all be aware and have a strong faith that you are my God and as for me and my house, we will stand on that rock. You are my refuge and you're my strength. I don't have any strength. I know I don't have any strength 
physically or any other way, outside of what you give me, God. And when I am completely spent, I thank you, Lord, that I can step into your strength. You can, uh, can give me strength, and I can get through it, even if I don't even know I'm getting through it. Therefore, we shall not fear, though the earth should change. Thank you that I will not change. I will stand firm in that belief, no matter what's going on around me. Though the earth should change and though the mountains be shaken into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and though the mountains tremble at its swelling and tumult. Oh, my goodness. All, it's all breaking loose, isn't it? Lord, right now, I come right now to you, Lord. I, would, I come right now to you, to my children that I know that are struggling. I'm asking you, Lord, to lift them up. I'm asking you to even let them know today that they have a strength, they have a refuge that is going to hold them up should they come to a place to where they just can't handle it. I'm asking you, Lord, to do that for myself and my husband as we walk through this diagnosis he has. I'm asking you, Lord, to help those that have uh, written in to me that I'm praying for. Even right now, as David one time said, show me a sign for good, Lord. Call, ask these, I ask that you would call people, Lord. Holy Spirit, draw them to cry out to you, God, and say, I need you, Lord. Because let me tell y'all something. God will move heaven and earth for one small heartfelt cry. And you can depend on that. Now let's look at the next verse. There is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the Most High. And God is in the midst of her and she shall not be moved. God will help her right. There is a river right inside of here. That's the river of the Lord. Lord, thank you that you have flowed through me like a river, the river of God. And in the midst of the mountains quaking and all the things going on around me, in the midst, there is peace. It may not look like it, may not feel like it, but there is peace Lord, I pray that my family and my children's children would tap into that peace. Let them be aware that they're not alone. That no matter what they walk through, and they will cry out to you, Lord. I pray they would cry out to you and that you would touch them in a way and let them know that you're there with them. I mean, even if things don't turn out the way they think they should, or I think things should, or even if our prayer is for you to do something that is not your will, I pray, Lord, you would still fill us with that peace and let us know that you are there. I'm going to skip on down to verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And know, Lord, I don't want to just know it up here. I want to get it from here to here. So, Lord, I pray that deep in my heart, in that river, in that place, let me be able to tap in to your eternal peace. And let me know that you are my God. And y'all, sometimes that means we don't say a word. That's kind of hard for me. Be still and know that I am God. Amen and amen. Lord, I pray that, Lord, I pray that over anyone watching, anyone who has ears to hear, I pray that over y'all today. Listen, y'all, I hope you have a blessed afternoon and evening. It is such a beautiful day here, as I've said. And I think I'll sit out here a little bit longer. Yeah, I do. I think I will and just uh, dwell on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Okay. Y'all be blessed today and find something to smile about. And I, today, I'm going to sit out here and smile about all the beautiful comments that y'all have touched my heart with because that is making me smile. All right? Be blessed. Next time. Be still and know that I 